Welcome to Life Journey. I'm your host, Theophilus Fernandez. Our message today is to help couples that are planning on getting married. Yes, you are planning on getting married. And marriage is a really a serious matter, my friend. Hey, glory to God. Marriage is like you making a commitment, an agreement. And you want to make sure this agreement is right for life. Hey, glory to God. So my message today is why you should not get married for sex and money. Amen. Come on now. Listen to me. Why you should not get married for sex and money. Because sex is always for sale. But love is priceless. And money have wings and fly away. And there are a lot of people under the sound of my voice that are married for sex and they're married for money. And they are not married for love. Because love, when you get married for love, that makes sure the person that you have married, they are the same compatible or co compatibility with you. Now, there are three C's you should, you should marry for love. Amen. Nothing else. Because sex is going to wear out. Sex is going to wear tired of sex. Marriage is a, like an empty box. Every day, you got to fill it with your self-desires and each other desires. And you got to fill it with surprises. That's what love is. And a lot of people are not marrying for love. You just marrying for bumping and grinding. You just marrying for the sound. Of, <sighs> that's all you marry for. My friend, you should stay single and go to the therapist because you, you can't control your sexual appetite. Marriage is not for sex. If you think marriage is for sex, I like to talk to you because you don't get tired of sex. If you are you if you are a person just get married for sex and the only thing you want to do is have, have sex 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, my friend, you got a problem. You are addicted to sex. Because sex is not the ultimate goal of getting married. Because you can have 20 babies this man that you think gonna be your boo and you love sex with with you, he gonna get tired of your vagina. Amen. Because marriage is not for sex only. Hey, glory to God. Marriage is for love. Marriage is for vacation. Marriage is to see the moon and the star. Marriage is to is to drink coffee together, drink tea together, go on vacation together, go and sit in, sit in the beach together, go travel in the air together. But if you just wanted to have sex only, you should not get married. <laughs> Come on, hallelujah, amen. Because there are a lot of people getting married for sex. And it don't last long in their marriage. You may be married for 40 years and the man, he, 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 he might be just want to get out of the marriage. Because he's saying that I want, I want a wife that is compatible to me. And I made the mistake of marrying a woman. Hallelujah. Or you might be, you might be a man. And you say, and you saying that I, I married this woman. And you might be a woman. You say you married this man. And it's not for love. Because love, listen to me. Love, believe all things. Hope all things. Endure all things. Love will never fail. But sex fail. Come on now, bumping and grinding fail, kissing passionately fail. It's more to marriage than sex. And the reason why I'm I'm staying on the sex sub subject because a lot of people think by you having twenty babies by this man, he gonna keep you. No, no, the kids gonna get grown one day and he will be gone. So you can't get you can't get married for sex. Jacob had two wives. He had Rachel and he had Leah. 
pay court to God. Now, the, the reason why Jacob have two why, because the father trick. Now, Jacob mean trickery. Jacob mean a person that is a tricker, trickster. That's why God had changed his name to Israel because Jacob was tied to trickery. So the father trick him in marrying Leah. Oh, come on. And Leah thought that by having many babies, Jacob going to love. But no, Jacob loved Rachel because Rachel just have two two sons. One was Benjamin and the, and the other one was Joseph. Joseph was the firstborn and Benjamin was the last one. But Jacob loved Joseph more than the other sons. So I'm saying to somebody out there, you are planning on getting married. Make sure it's not a business opportunity. Make sure it's not sex because you, you are sizing him. You seeing that if you're going to have the right size or if you're going to be the person that can rock my world. If you're going to get married for sex, you might as well go ahead and change your plan and get, get a help because you are addicted to sex. And a lot of people, they're not mad right now because the man you married, he fooled you. He lied to you. He said he going to love you for the rest of his life. And he just want to get between your legs and that's it. And he's gone. And you might do the same thing too. You got tired of you bumping and grinding. You say you want more to this thing called marriage because marriage is for love. And if you're not married for love, you might as well don't get married because marriage is like an agreement, a love agreement, not a sex agreement, not a business agreement, not a money agreement. And the reason why I'm not emphasizing on, on more about money because money is another subject my friend a lot of people get married for money my friend money gonna one day money gonna be gone and what you gonna do you gonna be gone too that's why we can't get get married for money there are a lot of people under my sound of my voice, you marry this man because you will get his pension. You will marry this man because he will solve your problem. And your problem is money. Don't get married for money because one day he might not write a will and put you on, on it because he know that you money hungry. So don't get married for money. Get married for love because love is the best solution. It's the best thing that ever happened happen to you my friend you can be in the bed naked and and if it's not about sex my friend you just kiss and that put your clothes on and that's it my friend but some people they are addicted so much here you are got toys on your bed you are married you got toys on your bed and your husband is available here you are husband and your wife available but you go in the bathroom and jerk off you got a problem because you got married for sex and you think that she won't give you the best sex but, but it wasn't love i come and tell you if you are a husband and you in the bathroom you jerking off you masturbating and you're supposed to be married you got a problem you got married for the wrong reason you ought to come together and talk about your, your efficiency you ought to talk about honey let's fix this thing together. It's not about sex, honey. It's about love. It's about going to the park. It's about going on vacation. It's about flying to Bahamas. It's about flying to Jamaica. It's about fly, flying to, 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 to France or, or all those nice places, my friend. It's not about the bedroom. It's not about the sheets. It's not about the pillow. It's not about the pebbles of roses. No, it's about love. And if you're, gonna, if you're not married for love, don't get married until you find the person that you're in love with. Because love lasts more than sex. Love lasts more than a million dollars. I ask a person... Who huh, oh, huh, would you now? Here you are in a relationship. Here you are married, and you gotta ask your husband, can you take the money and go on a date? Now a date is not gonna be a date where you go to McDonald's or go to find the fancy restaurant or eloquent restaurant. No, my friend, sex gonna be involved with this million dollar date. And if you think that this man, this man just gonna give you a date, a kiss on your cheek, and that 
that's it, and you collect the money, uh, wrong answer, my friend. I'm telling you that if you're going to take the million dollar, you got to jump your panties, you got to jump your balls, your, your, your drawers, your bra, and do it because he expect a million dollar sex, and you will end up catching STD, you will end up catching AIDS, and going to lose your integrity and lose your marriage. So marriage is not about sex, marriage is not about money, and marriage is about L-O-V-E. So if you are not married for love, don't get married. Well, I say, if you're not getting married for love, hear me now, don't get married because marriage is a serious thing. And I come and tell people, my friend, if you end up getting divorced, because you married the wrong person, you're not gonna go to hell. You're not. But make sure, my friend, the person you're married, make sure that they're in the Lord. Make sure they're saved. Make sure they're not sex addicted. Make sure they're in love with you, and you in love with them. Because the Bible said, God hate putting away. The Bible said, the hardest your heart, you put away your spouse. So I'm telling somebody, if you're not getting married for love, don't get married. If you're married for sex, if you're married for money, don't get married. Because marriage is about the four-letter word, L-O-V-E. What is love? Love is longevity. E is enjoying. V is you're not a victim. You're not a victim now, but you got the victory. And E is ever, 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 ever. Amen. That's the purpose of getting married. You know see? The purpose of getting married is love. And if you are dating, can we talk? If you are dating somebody, you ought to know three C's. Yes, three C's. You ought to know that you are compatible with them. You love the same thing they love. You hate the same thing they hate. Make sure you have conversation. Now, men don't like to conversate, Sorry, but but get but get his get his attention to see what's in his heart. Because you want to marry a man on a sudden, you say, I didn't know that, but you should have conversated while you was dating. And the next one, next C is make sure he's very compassionate. Yes, make sure he's compassionate. Make sure you have com compassion for you and for himself. So those three C's, while dating, you should know a man, he's incompatible, or woman, she's compatible with you, she love coffee and tea, he, she love to travel, <laughs> come on, she love to watch, she love to go in the park, she is a, a stay home person. You gonna marry somebody stay home all the time? That's that's not that's not a wife. That's a woman that just wanna stay home. Period. Sometimes you gotta take trips. Sometimes you gotta go to the park. Sometimes you gotta go and fly and go in the boat and go on the ship and and enjoy life. But if you and and and, and I fault individual, you should know those red flags. While you're dating somebody, here you are now, you you bump it and grind, you have a baby by a man that don't love you. You just love what between your legs. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Love is not legs open very easy. That's not love. That's lust. And a lot of people get love, hallelujah, open very easy. But that's not love. That is lust. Love is not feelings. Love is faith. Love is knowing. Love is, is an empty box and you fill it every day. That's what love is. And if you're married for money and sex, don't get married. Because the Bible said marriage in Hebrew 13 chapter verse 4, marriage is honorable in the sight of the Lord. But a whole monger and adulterer, God gonna judge.